Hello and welcome to Kimba Bushcraft. Welcome to the series Bushcraft from A to Z. Today it's a letter M and it is about medicinal plants. I'm in uh, Hammer Hills today and the weather is, well, it's cold, it's really cold. It's snowing a little bit. I'm sitting here uh, beside a, a juniper uh, so I can uh, be protected from the winds. Well, this uh, medicinal plants uh, most of them you can uh, look up on the internet, and I've done so. I'm not an expert in uh, these uh, plants, and most of my knowledge uh, is coming from the internet. I have a little bit knowledge from practical use, uh, also from my childhood. Uh, none of these plants, I believe, are dangerous to take or to uh, extract uh, medicine from. Uh, other plants, uh, Blackberry, I know that there's something in the leaves and probably also in the, in the roots that could be dangerous if you take uh, too much of it. But these uh, five plants, I believe they are safe. Uh, the first thing I would like to talk about is chamomile. Chamomile is a plant that's growing uh, all over Europe and I think it's also uh, growing in uh, uh, the USA. Uh, the most common way to use chamomile is uh, by making a tea of it. It is antioxidant, it will help you in uh, relaxation, it's good for digestion, it's also a painkiller. When I was a child my mother often used that when I had problem with my eyes. And she would just put some chamomile tea uh, on a cotton ball and uh, she wiped my eyes. The tea can also clean wounds and uh, it proves your health in teeth and skin. Uh, this plant is very useful and uh, very common used as a, a medicinal plant. The next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, pine needle tea. Well, it's a common use in uh, our circles, bushcrafters and outdoor people. And if you haven't tried it, I'll recommend you to do so. Uh, cut off the needles or pull it off the pine tree and uh, cut it in small pieces. Uh, put it in some water and let it warm up. The pine needle tea uh, is rich in uh, antioxidants. It's good for your immune system. It has a lot of vitamin C. Actually, it has five times more than in a lemon. It also contains vitamin A that is good for bacterial infection, infections. Uh, and uh, a good advice is never to boil the pine needles because if you do that, the vitamin C will be uh, lost. The next plant I want to talk about is the stinging nettle. 
and you can make it you can make tea of it and you can also make soup I tried tea sometimes and I also tried some soup it contains a lot of vitamin A and B6 and has many minerals calcium copper iron and magnesium it is good against asthma and cold uh, you should use the young leaves on the top of the plants and uh, when you pick them remember that you have to do it carefully because or else you will uh, burn your fingers once the leaves are taken off the plants and boiled uh, they won't sting anymore well the next plant I want to talk about is lavender it's a very beautiful plant I don't think it's growing here in Denmark in the wild but uh, many people have them in their gardens lavender is a uh, a great plant to make tea of and you can uh, extract oil from it uh, and you can use the fresh plants um, it's good for against headaches uh, stress and insomnia uh, it's against itching and swelling of your skin so if you're out on the hike or something and your skin is uh, irritated you can use uh, lavender it is also a good uh, bug repellent if you uh, rub the, uh, the flowers on your skin, uh, the smell uh, is, uh, is bug repellent because the mosquitoes don't like that. Well, the last uh, plant I want to tell you about is the chaga. Actually, not the plant, it's a fungus. It's also called true uh, tinder fungus. Uh, it's a fungus that has been used as a medicinal plant for hundreds of years. And in Russia, it's uh, common use for uh, cancer treatment. Uh, most people uh, use it to make a tea of and other people are buying uh, pills that is uh, with chaga in. Uh, the chaga is very good for your immune, it strengthens your immune system and it's actually the number one antioxidant plant in the world. It has many minerals it has an anti-inflammatory effect, it's a uh, support against pathogens, and as I said before, it has uh, anti-cancer and tumor properties. It is good for your liver, and it contains melanin, which is good for your skin, nails and hair.
Well, this was all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and the serious bushcraft from A to Z. Uh, it's been a nice day today. The coffee, the warm coffee, is good when it's cold. I hope you have a good weekend, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye.